So, Sam, can you tell us why you caused this? Well, see, my mum's gone a bit crazy. started about three months ago. It was a Sunday night and Sammy came into the bedroom with a project that was due the next day. And suddenly I was landed with the responsibility to complete it for him. And being a good mother, I stayed up all night and I, I did it for him. I actually really enjoyed it and, and now I've taken on the pleasure of doing all of Sammy's projects. It's become a bit of a hobby, really. It's my award. My dad's hair, yay! She's become totally obsessed with my school projects. She doesn't let me do any of them anymore. I barely get to see her anymore because she's always in her study doing my work. It was good at first, but I don't know if I like it now. After a few months of completing her son's school projects, Kerry has decided to take her newfound passion and hobby to a new level. She has discovered there is in fact business potential in the project industry at the primary school. The business is top secret. In exchange for the children's pocket money and valuables, Kerry now offers her project making services to the school children. Come in here. Um, now this is where it all happens. I'll start with my first project that I ever did, Shapes of the Month. Um, we've got textures and we've got shapes galore, which is really cool. And then how to survive an earthquake, which is really important in this day and age. And then the gold rush. This was actually an A plus one, so I got a really good mark. I was really happy with that and all the kids were very jealous. But you get that, and over here is the workstation. Um, and what's no one around is, well, we've got the phone. I've got a private line here. The kids ring me up, and um, we do little deals. Um, most importantly, I have my album. And this is all my work, which is really cool. Everything from first projects, and there's the shapes one. And this one here, I got a full on distinction, which was really cool. This one here, um, the kid, he was so mean to Sam last week that when I did that, well, I didn't really care, I'm afraid, and he got an A. So you guys better go so I can have a little look and see what I've got to do next, and you can come back and visit me. Mum keeps on forgetting to pick me up from school. She keeps on forgetting to make my dinner. She keeps on forgetting to make my lunch. And last night I had to tuck myself in. Sam! Sam! Sam, you there? Yeah? Can you come and help me, please? Can I get some bags? A lot of stuff. Don't drop them, okay? Look, I just need to ask you something. I just got given a dinosaur project and I really, really want to do it myself a this time. Dinosaur project? Yeah. Sam, you know the number one rule in this house. Let me just remind you. Look, remember? Mum does all the projects. Yeah. Not you. Who does the projects? Who does the projects? Mum does. That's right. Oh, look at that time. Come on, hurry up. We've got to get drop off Susie's project. Mr. Toothpick, and around we go. Oh. Yes. Who is it? Oh. Who is it? Me. Oh. Sam, hey, I'm busy. I'm finishing off this project. What? Don't you like it? It's my project. 
Your project? Yeah. That's your project. Mm -hmm. Sam. It's not what I call a project. Get out of my way. What? No, it's not the project. Or the other one. and go inside. Mrs. Trench, never in my time here at Silverbank Primary have I seen such deplorable behaviour. And from a parent. What you have done is not only an offence, but an embarrassment to the school. That's my project. After project you have done. Behind my back. Behind the teachers' backs. And the parents too. You just help me. It's a disgrace. And if your son here had not brought this to me. God only knows where this would have gone. I hereby declare this shameless street business that you have created terminated. Good day, Mrs. Trench. You may leave. 